We are elated to have the opportunity to be a part of this celebration, this recognition of a phenomenal woman. Um, on behalf of J.P. Morgan Chase and the 6,000 employees that we have here, we are so vested and so passionate about being part of the community here in Brooklyn, developing and growing and seeing how this thing moves forward, both personally and professionally. And I think about the accomplishments, the journey that has been out of the world that brings me back to where we are today. I, a father of a seven-year-old, um, young little brown girl, as well as a, a, a member of this community, I sit back and think about how far this community is growing. Um, and I also think about the accomplishments of that woman and exactly what she brought to this community and us as a people. Partnering with Representative Levin, Jacob Morris, uh, and several other individuals, we had the opportunity to bring something here to Brooklyn that's gonna represent Ida B. Wells and her story, her journey, and we appreciate you all for coming out today. Without further ado, I'm hoping to have an opportunity. Uh, I'm actually gonna ask you if you can help us in unveiling a flag that for the past year we worked together in order to bring about and hopefully have this be a symbol and something that represents her legacy. So if you could Ladder. <laughs> it was, so I had the idea to honor Ida here in Brooklyn in 2009, but I didn't do anything about that idea until 2014. I was responsible for abolition this place in 2006. Woo! So, and Dr. Susan McKinney and Joan Maynard also here. And so I, I like doing these honorings in Brooklyn because, because Brooklyn, I'll tell you, Brooklyn appreciates its history more than Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> so 2014, I go hey, through the and I go through the whole application process, and I do everything. But one of their guidelines for street naming is you got to get about 70% of the people that live on the block to sign petitions. Um, <laughs> people that live on this block. <laughs> so I was stuck, and it sat. The application to honor Ida B. Wells, the street name, sat in limbo until 2007. And then, by some wonderful occurrence, Councilman Levin hired a wonderful young lady, Elizabeth Benton, as his director of legislation. And out of the blue, her first week as director of legislation, she called me on her cell phone. <laughs> and she said, Jacob, this is wonderful. This is very important. We should make this happen. I'm going, oh, yeah, uh, we should. <laughs> I'm going to get it on the community board agenda. Well, you know, when the councilman tells the community board, I want this, then all of a sudden things happen. Bang. Two weeks later, we were on the agenda made the presentation, it passes unanimously, and now I want to thank the committee that we presented before because after they approved the street naming, they said, you know, we got to have a plaque that explains why we named the street. And so I want to thank the people on the committee Community Boards Committee for Transportation that approved and, and demanded as part of the resolution of approval of fabricating the plaque. And so they did it and then it passed the whole board and it lands on the councilman's desk 
and says, gee, a plaque, what are we going to do with a plaque? <laughs> I said, I can design the plaque, I've designed other plaques. So I worked with my graphic artist, we designed the plaque, and then I sent the language to Dr. Paula Williams, and she helped me refine the language, and then I worked with Tony and his excellent team, Excellent, excellent team. And I gotta say, this guy is a great team leader. And we made it happen. And we made it happen. And this wonderful council person over here, this guy, he gave a little discretionary money so we could get the money. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Let's see it. Let's see it. Is that is that dynamite or what? And is she? You can see how special she is. And I'm telling you, you got to read this stuff.